Hey guys, in today's lesson, I want to show you another very sexy lick for five string bass in the style of a funky new soul groove. I'll see you inside the lesson. Hey guys, it's James here from eBay's Guitar. So, very first lesson of the day. You might notice there's a gap here on the wall. So, what I recommend doing is always make sure you fix your bass guitar hooks to the wall really securely. Just before we started the lesson, one of these bass guitars literally fell off. Thankfully, I got out of the way just in time. Now moving on, a couple of weeks ago, I released a lesson where I showed my very first professional five string bass. It was a Yamaha Nathan East, and I've had loads and loads of comments on that lesson. So make sure you go back and check it out. But many of you guys have been asking, can you make another lesson? Can you show us more content for the five string bass? Yes, absolutely. So I've dug out my old faithful Sadowski bass here. This is my main five string bass. It was a bass that I used loads for many years. I bought it back in 2000. 2009 I think from when I was out in LA and it served me ever since it's probably been my favorite sounding of all of my bass guitars which I think is because it's just such a nice thick piece of wood all that extra mass just gives it that really thick punchy sound so today I'm going to show you this groove which is based upon a kind of new soul funky groove vibe and the critical thing is that we're going to be sliding up and down the strings here I'm going to really take full advantage of this mid-range of the neck because that's where the sound really starts to thicken up. So first off, before we hit the lesson content, there's a completely free PDF which comes with this lesson which will show you everything we're discussing today written out in its standard notation and tab. Link is in the description below. So this groove is based on an octave pattern with a really sexy slide in it. So this is the first three notes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide from a low C at the first fret on the B string into the D like that. So we're in the key of D minor here. So this is the first three notes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an octave on the end. So get these first two notes really big and fat and then really punch out that top note. So that's our first pattern. Then the next three notes is from the D to the F, sh the F there, and again, we're gonna hit the F octave there. So we're gonna end up with. And the note which is landing directly on the beat is the second note of that phrase. So we're almost, well, we are anticipating the note. So it's three, four, bam, 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 bam like so so make sure you get that really really solid now the next three four notes after that what we're going to do is we're going to slide from the f to a g on the b string like so now this is a territory that a lot of players stick away from because they like the punchier sound of the lower notes but you can get a really thick kind of subby sound if you use this right so let's talk through the next phrase so we go which is a great phrase, I love this phrase. So it's F to G like that, to an A. So slide, hammer on like that, and then I want you to play the C on the E string like that, and then slide back. So from the C to the B, like that. So we end up with this. So to put that together, it sounds like, I'll do that again. And when you're playing this, try and get more, a little bit towards the neck like that because that will fatten up the sound even more. So that's the first bar like so. Now let's look at the second bar. There are just a couple of subtle changes. Now the first two beats are identical. Like that, so. And then directly on beat three, I want you to punch out a big fat low C like that. So play that, and again. So you get that drama of that big fat C note there. And then just to turn the phrase back around, because this is a two bar phrase, just after the fourth beat, I want you to play an open B and hammer a C like that, and then play the C again to slide it into the next phrase. So you end up with, Thank you. 
So you get that really great effect of those low rumbly notes, which is where the five string comes into its own. So I'm gonna play with this with a backing track so you can hear what it sounds like in action. So that is the groove, go away, have some fun with it. I just wanna give you one more tip. If you really wanna fatten up the sound, the other thing you can do, apart from playing closer to the neck, is to use, add some bass to your sound. You can either do that on the amplifier or you can do it on the bass guitar itself. Play a little bit lighter as well and you'll really see, hear the instrument start to rumble. So right now, I'm gonna leave you with the backing track so you can play along and have some fun with this groove yourself. If you're a Bass Lab Plus member over at eBass Guitar, the backing track for this is sat inside the bass boat waiting for you right now. Anyway, I'll leave you with that backing track to have some fun. So guys, that is the end of today's lesson. If you want to grab the free PDF which comes with this lesson, so you can see it all written out in standard notation and tab, there's a link in the description below. Also, if you want to push your bass guitar playing forward, me and my team at eBass Guitar are here to help you every step of the way. There's a link in the description below where you can join our Bass Lab Pro Plus program completely free for 14 days. Cheers, I've been James from eBassGuitar.com and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.